If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. A fixed assets account tracks assets your business owns that are not likely to be converted into cash within a year. A fixed asset is something of significant value that is necessary for the operation of your business, like vehicles, computers, furniture, and some office equipment. Many times, the purchase of a fixed asset also incurs a long-term liability, like when acquiring an auto loan to buy a new vehicle. Fixed assets are not for immediate sale, but they have a value. Since they are useful for a long time, you don't completely charge their entire cost to the year in which you purchase them. Instead, you spread their cost over several years, called the useful life of the asset. However, because fixed assets wear out or become obsolete, like computers, their value declines constantly from the day you purchase them. When the value of a fixed asset declines over a period, the amount of lost value is called depreciation. The total amount of this decline over a time period is called the accumulated depreciation. We will now examine one method for creating fixed asset accounts, noting their original value, and recording their accumulated depreciation. There are many ways to track fixed asset value and depreciation, and this is just one suggested method. This method works well to show the original cost, the accumulated depreciation, and the current book value for a single fixed asset on separate lines within the balance sheet for clarity of reporting its value. However, if you are currently tracking fixed assets and asset depreciation in other ways, like tracking their value within fixed asset accounts grouped by depreciation type, like vehicles versus computers, for example, rest assured you can also use other methods. When referring to the value of a fixed asset at any point in time, you are referring to its book value. This is determined by subtracting its accumulated depreciation, which is the total amount of depreciation that has occurred since the asset's original purchase date, from its original cost. Usually, you want your company's balance sheet to show the original cost of an asset on one line, with the accumulated depreciation subtracted from the original cost on a second line, and the current or book value on a third line. The method in this lesson lets you see each asset's cost and its accumulated depreciation separately in your balance sheet. To do this, create a primary fixed asset account for each asset, and then track its depreciation in QuickBooks Online, which then creates two sub-accounts for each primary fixed asset account, one for its original cost, and one for its depreciation. To create the primary fixed assets account, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Chart of Accounts link under the Your Company heading in the menu that appears to open the Chart of Accounts page. Then click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open an Account window. From the Account Type drop-down, select the Fixed Assets choice. Then select the correct Detail Type for the Fixed Asset from the following drop-down. A short description of the Detail Type appears in the box under the Detail Type drop-down. Then enter the account's name, optional account number, and description into the fields of the same names. Then check the Track Depreciation of this asset checkbox to automatically create the two subaccounts for the original cost and depreciation. Doing this shows four more fields in the account window, the Original Cost and As Of Fields and the Depreciation and As Of Fields. If creating a fixed asset account for new fixed assets, you leave these fields blank. This is because the value of the asset comes from the value of the transactions you still need to enter, like the loan you received or checks you wrote to buy the fixed asset. New fixed assets also wouldn't have any depreciation to enter yet. You only use these fields to record existing fixed asset values when initially creating a company file. However, to record the values for existing fixed assets you already purchased, enter the original cost of the asset into the original cost field and the date you purchased the asset into the as of field. In the depreciation field, then enter the accumulated depreciation of the asset as of the date you are entering it into your company file. In the as of field for the depreciation, then enter the date as of which the depreciation amount is considered current. To save the account when finished, 
click the Save and Close button. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.